I'm just doing a switch over. Well, we're glad you could join <laughs> us again. This is our, I don't know how many weeks now, it must be about six, seven. I think we're on six. Uh, yeah, we probably are on six now, I think. Come on, turn. Um, and you've all been very loyal to us. It's not turning over. Ooh, we're, having, we're having technical problems getting us turned around. If we can't, we can't, but... I don't think we can. My finger's not working today. No. Don't All worry. Right, we'll carry on as we are. We've got yeah, no we writing. Hi, Debbie. We don't want to mess around. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Debbie. <laughs> you are on the ball. Debbie's our most loyal customer. Is that, be is that because you were late last week? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You got the right wrong time last week, didn't you? Here we are. Look, we've even got our pints ready. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh. Georgia. Hi, Georgia. Hi. Georgia is my hottest admin on the paint forum. I know. <laughs> she, Georgia, you are so on the ball. I have to say. I get these, um, you know, like requests and what have you, and I go to click on it, and it's already done. Yeah, me too. I'm in a race, and I'm literally sat there with my husband going, Look, look, there's one. No, I oh, know, she's got it. <laughs> <laughs> and then finally, I get, get one and go, Get in. So thank you, Georgia. Yes, thank you. <laughs> right, right. Wait. Shall we do the draw for last week? Um, so last week, we said we were going to give away these um, IOD resin moulds that Paul has made. Um, and with those, you can make uh, this image here, okay, that full image. Um, so you can really have a good play with those. And I'm giving away an IOD transfer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see who's going to win. Who are they going to? We've got Manda's posh bowl this week. Oh, my lavish <laughs> little pots. Right, I have got Annette Lapine Thrall. Well done, Annette. Now, I know for a fact I don't have your address, so can you PM me and then we can get your prize off to you? Okay, well done, congratulations. Fantastic, well done. And this week's prize, well, this week's prize is a bit oh. exciting. Go on. As you know, those of you that watch me, I've got um, my own brand of paint coming out really soon, really, really, really soon. And some of the items that I've got as part of my range have already started arriving. So, for today's giveaway, we are giving you a chalk paint. I'm going to see this, look. Fairy chic, it will be back to front, but you know. It's fairy there. chic chalk paint brush and a little metallic gold wax. They are beautiful. Can you open I'll it up and just show? Yeah. These are lovely, and they, they look like lip salve or something, so please don't go putting them on your lips. No, no. Um, it's for like embellishing little edges and stuff, it'll be really cool. So, so we'll you've got gold. Gold, this is a gold. I also do a silver one, and there's more stuff to come, but this is what today's giveaway is, and in order to win them, we, all you've got to do is like, obviously, of course. and share onto your page and, and then write, you've shared. Yeah, write in the comments shared and then we'll know and we, we write every name down that shares it from here and from YouTube because we're getting quite a few shares on yep. YouTube as well thank you and um, you will go into the draw I promise yep. for next week that's draw. what Annette did and she won yeah right so we're going to be carrying on with what we started last week um, so I'm going to be carrying on with the wardrobe and I'll just let you know where I've got to so far. Mm. So last week I'd had... It looks great. It does, it's looking it good, looks isn't great. it? I'm really pleased. I, I apologise, I know the light is shining on it, there's nothing I can do about that, but I will be moving it from time to time, you will be able to see what I'm doing. Um, but what I've done is, we had all the, yeah, the multicolours on there last week, it. it's, it's the artificial light, just right mm. above it. Move it in a bit. There. Would it be better if that light was on and not the main one? Um, no, because that, that was causing us trouble. You can't turn we one off. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay. But um, I'll be showing you various parts and of it we'll as we go along. And we'll show loads of close-ups too as Definitely. when we're done. It looks beautiful. Um, so yeah, on top of all those colours that you saw going on last week with the salt um, included in it, it's given it a lovely texture. Not forgetting the stinky vinegar. It doesn't smell of vinegar. <laughs> no, it, it doesn't. doesn't smell of vinegar. It's taken a week. <laughs> So I've gone over it with Old Ochre, which is that lovely sort of deep cream colour. I've sanded it back to reveal um, the multicolours. Yeah, it has come back really nice. And what I'm going to do today is start adding bits of gold paint. Yeah, not in your face gold, quite subtle gold. It's not like um, shiny like foil or, or 
um, glittery or anything like that. It's just going to be some gold paint. It, and what I want to do is to give it um, an older look. Okay, for any of you that have seen the picture of Big Babs, she's now got this sort of <laughs> Big Babs, Babette. She's now got I this. I the picture on the floor. I'm not seeing it, and she's yeah, looking yeah. good. She is. Um, but she's got this slightly sort of tinged, older look, so it's it's not going to be so bright and shiny. Um, so that's what I want to. What are you up to for? Well, all I've done since you last uh, saw mine, which I've done today uh, when I got here, was quickly finish one coat of the coloured paint that I had. Um, because I now want to put a second colour on and I needed to get this coat on and dry because you didn't want to hear the hair dryer. But I don't know if you can still see, I've still got the gold leaf raised stencil coming through. I will need to sand it back to reveal it a bit more but I've got some lovely Arts Enhancements gold foil on there. Lots and lots of you asked me where to get this. Oh, we have so week. many requests. Yeah, lots and lots of people. So I'm just going to run through it very quickly with you again. Foils look like this, but they're not like silver foils that you get in the cooking. You can actually crunch them up, they don't tear. And they come in lots of different colours and you buy them in a foot. And it's Mandy Crossland, um, I've been in touch with her. She is the Artist Enhancements UK distributor. And so obviously she lives in the UK, she's got her own page, but she's also in the paint forum, because uh, I invited her to join us. So if you've got any questions, just tag her into it and then she will give you a link as to where you can purchase these things. Okay? So, let's get painted. For those of you that don't live in the UK, Arts Enhancements are based in the US. They will have a list on their website of all the stockists so you can find one place to you. Most of them post, so not a problem if you haven't got one up the road. So, I've, I want to leave the gold and if you remember I put the gold directly onto the wood, not which I haven't done before. But it's worked really well. It has. And look, in places, the wood is still showing um, exposed and it looks amazing. So it I really now does. have... We'll have close-ups later. Some pink paint, because I've got a kind of white on Ooh. there, but I've got a pink paint, because I wanted this to be... Do you remember... Marie, Marie Antoinette? Absolutely. That is really pretty. That is really pink. Really, pink, really pink, pretty. Pink. And I'm going to put it on with a brush, and then I'm going to take it off again. <laughs> Sounds a bit bonkers with a sponge because I want to get a kind of blotty affair going on. So we're going to try. So I'm going to put blotty affair. Well, not in a complete coat. But and what I've got going on here is I've just decanted some um, some gold. I'm sorry, beg your pardon. Some gold paint. It was a bit too in your face gold, so I've added a little bit of chocolate to that just to deepen it. But I've also put in some silver paint because that gives it more of an aged effect. So it's not your shiny, glittery, bright gold. Okay, so I've just put a little bit on my brush and I'm gonna be dry brushing this on because I don't want it to cover it. So a little bit on my brush and I've wiped it off with a cloth and I'm just gonna go over. Right, did, you, did you say we had water? No? No, did you want water? I'll use the white one, right. Okay. So even though it's metallic paint, you've just added chalk paint to it. No, it's all metallic paint. Um, you said you added chocolate. Oh, the chocolate. Yes, beg your pardon. Just a tiny weeny bit of chocolate, just to give it that depth. And what it's going to do, it's kind of going to dirty up this um, beautiful cream. <laughs> <laughs> I know that sounds bonkers. Dirty girl. Dirty girl. But I wanted to give it that aged, slightly dirty, it's been a, sitting around for a hundred years. That looks great. But you see how that does, it really ages it. Yeah. Um, and if I get too much on, like I've got some little splobs here, I can always sand those I back. I might use some of that on this. Yeah, yeah. Save me you're some. more than welcome. Got loads. I was thinking of doing a glazing, it's to, again, dull it down and age it a bit, but actually that would work, and I have bought my glaze. So. Yeah, this really does work, I love yeah, it, I'm I using like it that. on all my um You're going to need some close-ups of this, because it, it's really effective. It is, um, and you will get How your close-ups. How are we getting the ingredients? Okay. I wasn't well, well, paying any attention. Well, you're not. <laughs> really, that does surprise me. Okay, um, so the... <laughs> you are funny. <laughs> I love Thursday afternoons. She really makes me laugh. Um, so, um, sorry. I'm only interested in my <laughs> You are. <laughs> so I got me, these from me, Paula. Me. Um, from the fairy she kept So anyway, we've got Annabelle Duke, we've got the gold, 
um, which is a lovely colour, but I wanted it to be a bit more dull. deep, dull, um, mm. not shiny, because this is a metallic paint. So I've put in some um, some chocolate chalk paint. So that sort of aged it, darkened it, grunged it. But again, I wanted it to look like an old gold. Now, if you mix silver, and again, this is um, Annabelle yeah, Duke. If you mix silver, a little tiny bit of silver, in with your gold, um, and you can do this with, with any makes that produce um, metallics. It gives you platinum, doesn't it? A sort of yeah, it just takes the edge of the gold. It takes so the it's, yellowness out. Yeah. yeah. So it, does, it just ages it as though you know it has been there for, for many, many years. You get that effect. Um, and I've, as I say, I've decanted that. And I'm just dry brushing, which is basically a little bit on your brush. Wipe off as much as you can so that you're just getting a smidgen. Um, you're just getting the effect. Right, I got that this time. Got that this time. <laughs> she, she drives me nuts. <laughs> me, me, me. <laughs> okay. Um, and the reason I'm doing that, as I say, is just sort of take the brand new shine off it, dirty it up a bit. It's got to look like it's been around for a few years, like me. <laughs> so, actually, they're both going to look quite aged because you know, Marie Antoinette. She ain't getting any She's younger, is she? She hasn't been around a while, has she? <laughs> I've just used it. I've really blotted it on with a stencil brush, and I've just used a baby wipe to just kind of blot some of it back. Oh, I see what you're I doing, twist, yeah. I twist a little bit. I do that with a sponge sometimes as well, but I haven't got a damp sponge, so I just twist. Well, if you need water, just shout. Yeah, but okay. the, the, you're working you well with those wipes. Yeah, I, I tend to use wipes for, for any sort of wet distressing. They're just easy, they aren't on, they? Yeah. <laughs> it takes all the nonsense out of it. It's just easy. So I have to do an obligatory family happy birthday to my lovely son, Jordan. He's 22 today. Oh, is it today? Happy yeah. birthday, Jordan. Happy birthday, Jordan. Jordan. You better be watching. <laughs> he won't be. He'll be in bed or hungover. It's <laughs> part of the rules. It is it's the first birthday lesson that he hasn't been home. Aww. Well, he came home last week, but not for his actual birthday because he's got mates coming and partying to be done. Of course. Of course. Lots of partying to be done. So this is working really nicely. I'm not going to go all the way around and bore you with it because um, I want to get some stamping done. I'm going to be doing some uh, Toil de Jouet stamps from mm -hmm. IOD. Now, they were on there originally, you may have seen them last week, although it was hard to see, I, I, I grant you, and I apologise. Um, but they were on there originally. And if you like them, I've still got some in stock. Yes. Oh, and some more. They're not coming out. Lovely things. Oh. Yeah, they're, they're um, when they're gone, they're gone, of theirs. Oh. Are they? Yeah, at the moment, they're not out. Yeah, it's one I've used quite a bit. Yeah, me too. Um, because I like my French look. And you guys are just torturing me on the phone at the moment with your orders. Oh, honestly, IOD. <laughs> they, who wouldn't Liz want that? texted me last night, I'm going out, just to get away from the beeps that are coming in on the phone. All the orders. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'd like to reiterate, guys, if you want to order any uh, IOD stuff, the, the orders are going in very shortly. Well, I've already started my orders. I'm adding to them as you guys are asking for stuff. But... I do need pre-orders via the website, not messages. I've decided it's just too much. I'm getting messages in so many different places. I didn't, didn't realise really quite how many places you could message someone, but <laughs> honestly, email, Facebook, my page, my website, I'm getting messages everywhere, so. Cup runneth over. I, I need it all in one place for my sanity. So what have you been up to? What have I been up to? Me got poisoned at my house. <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny. Now, um, Paula has very kindly offered to help me out with my tech work. You know, sort of getting um, getting things out there to you, getting my website sorted, um, redesigning my profile picture. Get poisoned for the pleasure. <laughs> so I go round to her house on Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. And her wonderful son Ryan, who's absolute whiz. Um, as, as kids are these days, on, uh, he's yeah. so techy, and he did all the design work for me. Um, and he was so charming, and, and we sat there from just gone eleven till uh, five o'clock, 
that's how long this boy um, put up with his mother and me. And it became apparent that I needed to feed her. Yes, so we were all getting rather peckish. <laughs> so, hangry. Uh, <laughs> you were getting hangry. Yeah, she gets very hangry if she doesn't get fed. So um, Paula very kindly put in this huge macaroni cheese that she'd um, that sh shop bought one, but you know posh one that she'd had for her boys to eat. Well, it never got eaten. It was looking a bit puffy. It, and the top, it, yeah, the the, you know, the plastic <laughs> bit on the top was was rising slightly. That's so there was warning, something. Isn't it? something. You should know, shouldn't you? <laughs> I said no. It'll be fine. It's only what three or four days out of date. It'll be fine. Honestly, stick that in the oven. <laughs> It'll kill off all the nasties. We're fine. So sure enough, that's what she does, okay? On your head be it, she says, she's all right, she's having something else. Yeah, because I don't eat cheese. She doesn't eat cheese. <laughs> so there's me and um, her two children <laughs> finally get dished up with this <laughs> macaroni cheese. Yeah. And it uh, looks great. First, Smells good. First words out of my daughter's mouth. It tastes a bit sour. It did. <laughs> <laughs> and it really did. I've never known macaroni cheese to taste sour before, oh, which that, she was spot on. It tasted like it had lemon juice in it, um, which is, as you say, not the thing for uh, macaroni cheese. This is the first time she's been around my house. Yeah, you know. first time. <laughs> so, so um, <laughs> I, I pulled all the stops out. <laughs> <laughs> they come around my house. Thankfully, I'm alive to tell the tale, and I think the children are too. No, no, we didn't have any. <laughs> no, so, no nasty tummy bugs and what happened. The happening. learning is sour macaroni cheese is absolutely fun. Yeah, sour macaroni cheese is absolutely fine. Or the other thing I learned from that is, is next time I go to Paula's, I'm going to take my own little lunch, my pack lunch. Um, <laughs> yes, but still alive to tell the tale. I didn't think that visit through food wise. No, well, to be honest, I didn't think it would take that long. Um, and it wasn't that um, your son was uh, dilly dallying or anything. I didn't realise there was so much to do. Uh, but he was an absolute star. So yeah, that's I'm why I've got a new profile picture, I've got a new yeah, uh, banner. That's so good. Where would um, I be without him? You just have to go for, an, for it with an idea, don't you? Yeah. And he, he turns it into magic. Photoshop whiz. He is a Photoshop whiz. Um, so yes, he's now my go-to boy. He's going to be sick of me <laughs> because I don't understand tech at all. But I can vouch for that. Um, yeah, you really don't. <laughs> I have to give her three moves, like this, this, yeah. this, repeat. <laughs> this, 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 repeat. Four times, and then she says, I think I've got it. I think I've got it. And then I speak and then to I her, don't. and then she says, no, it went wrong. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened, didn't it? it, it the drive, you went, no, it went wrong, I couldn't save the picture. Pretty much. And then, then I get round to her house. It was only three and she goes, steps. Did you, did you, did you. Right. There you go. Is that what you wanted to do? <laughs> three steps. Three steps probably took me about three hours. <laughs> right, I've got far too much on there. <laughs> okay, so the lighting's a bit better on that side now. You can see sort of what I'm doing on that side. It's really nice. Um, it's really, really nice. And it, it, yeah, it's, it's, it's dirtying off quite nicely. Yeah, I want to dampen down my whole piece. I think it will put it all together. So I did something very nice for myself actually yesterday. Um, I, I don't have a very exciting life. Um, now through the summer, as you know, it's been particularly hot, hasn't it, here in the UK. Um, so I've been sleeping pretty much just with um, a sheet thrown over me, you know, and not thinking really too much about making my bed, as it were, I just throw this sheet over me. So I treated myself yesterday to new pillows and you, do that. you know, everything was lovely and yeah. fresh. Yeah, you do make covers, the new Well, I'm a sheets and blankets girl. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But on my sheets, um, they were all ironed and, lit, you know, they were beautifully laundered. I never ironed my sheets. Well, these are, you know, very posh cotton <laughs> ones, so you do need to iron them. Well, they might be over for sleepover. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, because you're messy. <laughs> Lovely made up bed, all the you know corners tucked in nicely, and I sort of slid myself into it because I didn't want to move anything, and, and sort of lay there all night, not moving too much because it was just so oh, it was just so long. it was like being in a hotel bed. Now, so. when I was a child, I used to be 
blankets and sheets and I like the weight and I like the, the blankets to all be properly tucked in as well yes I d didn't like loose baggy like you get with duvets but and I've still to this day no idea how I did it but I one night woke up in the morning and I was upside down in my bed with it all tucked in and my head out the end <laughs> I was all tucked in. I don't know you're dreaming I, about I, that. I don't know how I managed it because it was really, really tight. <laughs> yeah, and that's my love. It's a bit odd. And now I understand that I have tucked in my you. duvet at home. Has, I do have a duvet, and I do like it. Has to be a heavy duvet. I don't like the summer duvets. Um, but I do tuck the feet in. Yeah. And I have to do. This is really anal of me. I have to do nursing corners. <laughs> This I still haven't figured out what nursing corners actually well, it's are. It's all my nursing days because when you when you go to a general ward, it doesn't happen in the psychiatric you don't want, ward. You don't want the patients to fall out. Well, I know, no, because it, it's like it's a thing. Okay, when I worked, um, I was a mental health nurse, but I had to do a three month placement in a general hospital, and doing all the beds is is minions job, and it's the job you get allocated when you're the student nurse. So yeah. I have you have to run around and make all these beds and. Clearly, it's, you feel like it's not the most important thing in the world. But then the matron comes out with her posh matron outfit, which they were at the time. Yes, and a funny little And nurse. goes, no, 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 all the way around the wall. Do it again. Oh, it's a cool. Do it again. Really? Yeah, and that, that happened every day for three months. Oh. <laughs> and consequently, I feel quite... <laughs> you know how to make a I bed. feel quite pedantic about hospital corners. <laughs> Somebody says, No, turn it Your corners are wrong. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's, it's a thing. But, and it's how they assert their authority in the early days. It's weird, isn't it, what you, you take on board for your life? It's just for you and your corners. And... Hi, Jeanette, nice to see you. Oh, I'd forgotten you were all out there. Yeah, having just having, just having some, <laughs> such a lovely time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes, hello, Jeanette. I'm trying to make it out without my specs. We've got, is that Fiona? Looks okay. like it could be a question. I'm going to show you what this looks like close uh, up. In a yeah, Fiona. Hi, ladies from South Africa. Oh, Hello. Oh, wow. Could so join in with a fun day. Come on over. Yeah, yeah. yeah. next yeah. Thursday. We'll see you here, one o'clock. Come on over. I posted on the forum last night because I think the paint forum is one of the best paint forums I've been on. And I know it's mine, but it's not me that makes it the best because it is so positive. Oh, Everyone, and it's so is. amazing. And I just can't believe it. No. And it's not the biggest group around. It's not, but it is really because is. the reactions are huge on every post. Yeah. And everyone's being so lovely. And I just thought we should all get together and have a big party. It's, it's, it's like, like a family. Yeah, I think. Yeah, the painting forum is just like family, um, and it's always positive. Yeah. Um, and people have um, lots of, of questions that they want to ask, and people are willing to share. Had one. Um, had a lady. What was she asking? Um, you might be able to help with this, actually. Because I said I'd do some research. Well. We don't know everything, do we? And no. People are telling me stuff. I well, didn't she's know. got um, she's got a lovely buffet. So I'm guessing um, it's an American lady. She's got a lovely buffet, um, and at the bottom of one side, part of the the moulding is missing. Oh yes, yes, she messaged me. But she, so she was wanting to um, take a copy from the other side, which is perfect. Somebody's talking about baking. Uh, yeah, you know the spray, um, non-stick yeah. uh, cooking oil. She'd heard something about that that she would help to make them get in touch if you know anything about that because I'm I'm going to Google make it. Fake mold because I've mm. got some stuff from the brand Amazing and I sent her a photograph of it. An amazing do it is resin. Amazing. It is amazing. Um, but they also do a mold making kit that you oh, can buy. Oh, I didn't and know I that. I have got some at, at the shop. I haven't actually tried it, but yeah, you can put a coin make a mould of it so then you can pour the resin in and make more coins. That's what I was That's the sort looking, of thing, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, no, amazing. Do it do do the product. But I'd be very interested in this makeshift. Well yes, so as well. Like, it sounds fascinating. So I thought I'd I'll Google that. But we changed our internet provider, so my internet was off for a couple of hours yesterday. Um, until the boys could set it up. <laughs> so I had to wait till the boys got home so I could set it up. Um, so apologies for that. But I will oh yeah. I'll get onto that and have a little look. But I, I love that. I'm learning things I didn't know. Daily. Yeah. And we're still going to try this acetate thing, aren't we? I'm, I'm still going to try I'm it. hoping to try that on my next project. 
Take take um, some print home with you today, actually. Yeah. I've got some handy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got some laser printed. Have you got your next project planned? Uh, yeah, I have. And I'm coming over to you. Thank goodness for that. And <laughs> so cheeky, honestly. <laughs> Uh, she gets worse. No, but look, but look, I haven't brought Noodle today and she's brought in balls and a, and a, and a bone. How lovely is How that? you treat your guests, you see. How lovely. The four-legged one. And then I didn't bring him. Um, so yes, I do know what I'm doing Sorry, next yeah. week and I will bring it to you. It's, um, it's a dressing table, so it's fairly big, fairly sizey, and I might have to leave it over at yours for the two, as we do two weeks. It's going to take me two weeks. Um, and it's got a lovely mirror on it, but um, I can get it to you. Okay. Um, and again, well, it's part of this series, so I, want, I really need to get cracking with it, so that's my reason. Okay, right. Um, I've sort of grunged up the front of this, and you can probably, well, possibly see, maybe not on this side. I've got quite a lot, of, I've put too much on here, but that's okay because I'm going to go in later with a bit of sandpaper and calm that down. Um, I can also go in with a, a dry brush of this um, cream, again, which will help just calm it down. So I can disguise that. That's okay. Um, oh, we've got a few people. Lena was asking something. Uh, oh, my signal keeps going. Heather, hi, from Las Vegas. Oh, my goodness. You slept in. Um, <laughs> I can't believe people are getting up early. Debbie, sorry I'm late again. Oh, oh lummy. I think it should be punishment for those that you're late. I think there should. There should yeah. be something. <laughs> um, Julie, hello. Welcome. <laughs> All these lovely people come back each week. It's just amazing. Right, so I'm going to leave that for now. Um, and I'm going to get on with some stamping. Now, I don't know about you, but when I use the more deep... This is a tip for you guys. When I use the... The more detailed stamps, if you show that one up, you can see it's got an awful lot of detail it on it. This is the rose toile. And the rose, the, no, not no, rose this is toile. the French toile. The, the toile to, to, to de yeah. yeah. There's a rose toile as well, and it's got a lot of detail on it. works so much better with the, yes. with the ink. That's one thing we Now, I've got lots of inks. Look. I have tried it with a very thin layer of paint, but it still, it just moves. It, it's... It, I think it's me. It's too thick as well. It, 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 I think it slides a bit more, doesn't it? it? Yeah, it does. Now, in the UK, well, I get these from Amazon. This is called Stays On. And it stays on because it, it stays on. It stays on. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't smudge. You can put um, matte finish over the top straight away, five seconds later, and it won't smudge. You can put wax on the top. And Stays On do these little miniature square ones. I bought these as a set. And look at these, all these gorgeous colours. I can't wait to have a go with them. But it doesn't matter how small they are because you just stamp up your... Yeah. Your, um... It's brilliant. Mine's stamp. slightly bigger. Oh, got a metallic one. Um, this is a metallic. It's the gold. And I have a feeling it might be too bright. But as I'm going to be sanding that back anyway to give it an old look... Um, well, well, we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. So... Um, but it's it got still the stamp. stays on, isn't it? It still stays on. And they come with these little refillable... You can, just, yep. you can just load up the pad, which is brilliant. You get them from Amazon, they're about £5 each, so it's a bargain. Yeah, yeah, the, the ones with the refill are a little bit more, not much, a couple of pounds, um, but I know that's going to last me so yeah. much longer. Um, so yeah, I've got my, got my image that I want to do, and I'm just going to stamp onto it. I'm going to have to do this on a flat surface, but that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to yeah. use my stamp, stamp onto it. And then it's going to so go. You like me? You don't use the boards because some some of you would have seen sometimes. And do you use the plastic? Because again, they all, sometimes they come with quite a strong bit of plastic, which you can obviously leave the stamp stuck to and press it down. Obviously, you'd have to take the other ones off. Now this looks. Oh, yeah, look, it looks quite yellow. It's quite yellow. But we'll see how we go. I might use my plastic actually for this for this one. Just my. Do not leave these in um, your car in the heat. <laughs> I made that mistake and um, get a bit stretchy. Get a bit stretchy and curled up. And don't use these with acrylic paint. Or if you do, wash them one second after you've done it because you won't get yeah. it off. That's an essential tip. Go on, let's Please do it over here so that you can actually see. Yeah. So it's one push, one commit. 
So that's going to go there. Committed to it now, it's not going to move. And just like little tickles, say spider, tickles. tickles. Yeah. I'm going to make sure that I go over every part of it just with little tickly fingers. Don't want to press too hard. Don't want blobs. Don't want it smudges. Because sometimes if you've got the block, you end up pushing too hard and you get the edge of the stamp and like an outline come out and you don't that. want that. And that's no good with these stays on ink because once it's on, it stays on. You can't get it off. You have to paint over it is the only answer. You can't even wash it off with a baby wipe no, straight no. away. No, once it's on, it's on. It's on. Um, now, I presume you can use these on fabric. I haven't tried. Yes, you can. And have I you, am going to... looked it up? I'm going to be trying it in one of our cool. sessions. Cool. Because how would you make, do you have to iron, heat iron them to like secure them so then you can put them through the wash? No, no, you should be okay, you should be just straight okay. in. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to be doing some napkins, um, some linen napkins, and I'm also going to be doing a lampshade at some point, yeah. which will have these stamps on them. Um, I mean, if you want, I can do them next week and start on the dresser later. Um, Decisions, decisions. I want, and the other thing I want to cover in one of these sessions is milk paint. I want to have a go. Oh, so do I. And because that's the paint that. that gets really chippy. Yeah. We, we could have a session on that. We could. We? Might go a little bit harder on that. Yeah. My tickles were obviously not. <laughs> so why you looking at that? I'm going to show you close to up what I've done with this. Look. So it's very, very blotchy. I've just really put it on dabbing it around and then blotting it off at the moment. So it hasn't all come together yet. It's still looking a bit messy. That's okay. But I've kind of got to wait for it to dry before I can move on. But I am going to have a go, if you don't mind, using some of your stuff. Okay, so I've got my first image on. Um, obviously you've, you've got the different colours in the background as well, so it's not terribly clear. But I'm going, you will know when I sand this back, it becomes clearer. Yeah. It really does. It kind of takes away the excess of it and it becomes a lot clearer. So I'm going to fill this up. It's not the clearest, is it? It's I've not. It, out it's, it's got a lot of detail to it, which, as you said, doesn't help. But... I guess you could always two-tone it if it's not enough. Go on, go could two-tone two, two it. I tend to find when you've got something with a lot of detail, it, it interferes with it in so much that, you know, you can't see it clearly. Um, right, let's get the next one on. So now I've totally, utterly pinched around this concoction that I absolutely Ooh. know the recipe for. Da, da, da. Because I was paying attention the second time. <laughs> and I'm doing heavier dry brushing than Miranda. But I want to try and put it together. I'm not sure which way round this one goes, how awful. No, that, no that's okay because it's just trees and bushes. No, it's not. There's a lady in there somewhere. Oh, there she is. Right, okay. I've got you. Might need a little bit more ink on her. I don't know if you've seen this now, but this is, this is one of my other new arrivals. Mm. How exciting is that? That fish. That fish. And it's got its own little, look, my son designed these. How cool is that? So excited, so excited. Have we got any questions up there? I'll have a look in a minute, but I'm just committed. Hi Mo, lovely to see you. Hi Andrea, thank you for joining us. Val's one of our team from our shop. She's also one of our admin. Have you met? Wow. Well, I think she I... She works every other Friday. I think I may have met Val. Lovely. If you want a ray of sunshine in your life, Val's the lady. Oh, she is always positive. Always. That, well, see, that's what I like, yeah. positive people. Yeah. Actually, I have to say that about all of my team, to be fair. They, they all are people super I enjoy lot. spending time with. I look forward, they all do different days of the week. And I find it hard to have a day off because I want to see them. <laughs> yeah. like, I, like a social sort of thing. Yeah. I enjoy their company. That is a lovely working environment, isn't yeah. it? And very soon, I'm going to be announcing online, but we have decided we are coming up to one year 
of the fairy chic shop being open where we are. The first of October we opened. Can't believe it's been a year. No, I can't. No. That's and gone we're going so to quickly. Have an event which is going to tie in with um, launching the paint because it will be here by then. So we're going to have a party. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Any excuse for a party? Cake, cake, cake. cake. Yeah. Who's, who's making the cake? We're all going to make a bit of cake. You probably won't want to eat mine. You might have sour lemon in. <laughs> <laughs> a macaroni cheesecake, yeah. <laughs> Don't bring the macaroni cheese, Dudley. <laughs> well, that sounds fab. Yeah, but we're going to have a party, so we're gonna, everyone's invited to come and join Am us. Am I we're coming? Have, I hope so. Good, I hope so. We're going to have a big sale so. on as well, so you can start your Christmas shopping. And, uh, yeah, I can't wait. Well, that sounds amazing. So we're going to have it, it's not, even though the first is the official year anniversary, um, it, was, it was a Sunday that we opened. So we're going to have it on the Sunday again, which is the day before, so it's the 30th of September. The 30th of September, right. Put it in your diary, Put it guys. in your diary. If you get down here, we'd love to see you. Have to think what to make, what to bring. Yeah, cake. Cake? <laughs> I can make cake. I don't cook, but I can okay. make a bit. <laughs> if not, a little bit. Mr Kipling. Mr. Mr. Kipling. Mr Kipling might be featuring heavily. <laughs> Now I'm using this dry brush, and I'll show you in a minute, to pick out the raised stencil that I did underneath. And it's really quite effective. I'll show you. Because it was almost hidden with all the paint and the blotting that I was doing. Now it's come back. Okay, so this is getting on quite nicely, I think. I'm still feeling this is going to need a glaze. So just tie the whole thing in. Yeah, I'm thinking that, that as well. And show the glaze will work pictures, well. Because I didn't bring my glaze. The glaze I use is another Arts Enhancements product called Scumble. I think I've demoed it. I did, didn't I, in the Sea Queen? Yes, you did. Yeah, in the Sea Queen. Yeah. Um, and um, I loved it. So I'm going to be trying that soon. Yeah. Yeah, it does. It just gives a good shade. Um, I mean, it works. I was going to say it works a bit like a wax, doesn't it? In so much that you can use it to, as to shade. I like to sort of almost paint with wax. Except you can add whatever colour you want. Yeah, so I think that's, that's, the, that's the beauty the of it. Yeah. Oh, this gold is quite yellow. So. Oh, that one. That one's come out better. That second one. Yeah. Yeah, it has. Maybe it's just it. the positioning. Don't know why. Um, but it tends to, I think, once you've got them all on, it will put it all together. It won't matter, will it? It's no. It's one of those things. That's no. And as, as it's standard, but I mean, if some of these... If you just have one, it would show. But when you've got... These are really sanded back. We do. Oh. oh, hello, Jackie from Pennsylvania. And Pam, Pammy, here she is, Pammy's place. Hiya, lovely ladies. Hello, lovely lady. Well, I hope you're all going to join us tonight so we can actually have some conversation with you directly. I know, that's do you know, really that's nice. what I love so about the Thursday like evening slot. This, this size, yeah, because we're too busy painting and chatting. Yeah, because it's nice to say hello while we're here. Um, but we can really sort of get down and dirty and answer questions and, you know, just have a good old chat when we do it in the... And apologise, obviously, for all, <laughs> all the things we've The said. stupid things we might have come out with and not known. And your regular slot of how many times you've scratched your nose. Yes, yes. In fact, I think there should be a bonus <laughs> prize for that. <laughs> yeah, if anyone would like to count up... <laughs> they do it without knowing. You know, this whole sort of... Right. Don't count that one, that's an example. <laughs> that's what you're looking for. I didn't even notice it at all. Neither did I. I thought it was only my big sis that did that. And um, obviously, it's a family trait. <laughs> Runs in the family. 
Right, now I'm going to dry, I'm going to go in and dry brush with some of my original colour. Oh, that's looking color. so nice with the grungy gold on top. Yeah, now I'm just going to try and yeah, break it I up like a bit. I like that very much. Yes, I like dry brushing. And this had an awful lot of, that's the first thing you said when I arrived, wasn't it? It had an awful lot of bleed through. It did. And but obviously I haven't treated it, it but because of all the different colours, this is definitely one of the options with bleed through without having to go through the laborious, boring treatment bit. Okay, so I'm just going to do, I think, one more. Um, which one? Oh, uh, that's better. Look at that. Oh, oh look, 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 look at me, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> that bit there, just that bit, that's the only good bit. No, it's not the only good bit. <laughs> but it does look super. It's, tiny, gonna, it's really that's tying that's it in, isn't it? That's tying it in. I'm going to show you this bit, this one bit. <laughs> Can you see that close up? Just there, just that bit there. <laughs> Don't look at the rest. Not that bit, just that bit. <laughs> now, you see what I have to put up with? <laughs> Suddenly, this this genuinely happens to me a lot. I plod on and I'm getting annoyed with it because it's not looking good enough. And then suddenly I do one more thing, it all goes right, and I get all excited then. Like, ah. But I think that that happens, doesn't it? You know, when I watch other um, people, like, you know, that I admire painting, and it starts looking a bit. Yeah, I can I can kind of see what you're aiming at, but I'm not convinced. Not sure. Um, and and then all of a sudden it all comes Ties together. In and you're like, oh. And you think, why didn't I think Yeah, well, I'd like to say that I planned it that way, but <laughs> I, just, I didn't. I just mess around. That is often the way, In though. the dark. Um, until it goes right. Yeah, I mean, I've made some very successful mistakes. Yeah, happy accidents. <laughs> Anissa makes me laugh. Um, when I watch hers, her, her lives, um, <laughs> she says she's got a mountain of things that she's sort of like, got to the end of and thought, nah, don't like that, that's going. Yeah. <laughs> Sick I, of the sight I of that, can, she says. I can relate to that. Oh, well, that one hasn't come out at all. Do you know what I think it is? I need more ink on my pad. Um, but I'm not going to bore you with that. I'm just going to go on to the next bit that I plan to do. Um, Sorry, I've got my back to you. I'm trying to... It's, it's very hard. It's hard to paint sideways. <laughs> I just get my little head coming in every now and again. So, we'll turn this around again. And leave the stamps for now because we are. Well, we've got a quarter of an hour, so we're getting close to. Um, right, hopefully, you can see this. Yes, I think you can. Okay, what I've done here is I've, I've um, previously masked off an area that I want to do the, um, the grungy gold in just to give the, the sides a bit of detail. I don't want to go over the board with the decoration. But it needs something that's going to bring the goals and what have you. Any left? I've used it all. <laughs> Shh. She's in one of those moods today. I can tell. Um, no, hi, Sarah. <laughs> hi, Kathleen. Newcastle. I was going to say why I. I won't. I won't. <laughs> You're going to say what? Going to say why I. Is that what they say? Newcastle. I think so. Don't they? Yeah. Looking lovely, Paula. Do you mean Paula herself, or do you ah. mean Paula's piece, Fiona? I'm not quite sure. I'd have thought that was obvious. <laughs> Both. Yes, thank you very much. That's the correct answer. <laughs> Go to the top of the class. <laughs> right, going straight on with this, because um, it doesn't need dry brushing. It's going to be a full colour. So, as I say, I've already marked off. And I will do the same on the other side. And it will probably look better with two coats, I've found. That green duct tape stuff, is it frog tape? Frog better, tape, isn't it? yeah. The duct, the yeah. I, tape. I don't tend to buy the cheap stuff. Um, yeah, you pay for it. Yeah. It sticks. Yeah. It does what it says on the tin. Which masking tape doesn't? No. <laughs> also, <laughs> it's an epic fail. <laughs> it gives it a description. something like with... Um, <laughs> Frog tape, you know, you, you, you are paying a little bit more for it, um, but it stays on lot. You know, you, you, it's more workable. You've got a longer period to work with it. 
And the fact that it's so colourful means you can see where it is. It gives a really good too. Because I have actually got masking tape down here. The normal white oh, masking yeah, you tape. You wouldn't even know, would you? You can't even see it on this piece. But it was just to give me, it was just to sort of space my masking tape really. Good plan. Well, you know, down there for dancing. <laughs> what, is, what was that? Down there for dancing. I don't know if that's an old thing or whether it's just because I'm so old and it's an old Probably expression. <laughs> you young Billy. Well, Andrea at the shop, she keeps saying, I've never heard this phrase, so she keeps going, well, I'm just going off to squeeze my lemon. <laughs> Have you ever heard that? That <laughs> apparently means I'm going toilet. <laughs> She says, I'm going to squeeze my lemon every week. <laughs> What's that all about? <laughs> that, I, that's, a, that's an Andrea. It's unbelievable. And she comes out with it and I say to her, what on earth are you talking about, woman? <laughs> she just looks at me like Where's she mind. from? Is she a, a, a local know. girl or is yes, she a northern I, girl? No, I think she's local. Look, <laughs> it's an Upton saying. I squeeze a lemon. No. <laughs> it's a new, it's a new one she's on me. Made it up. I said to her, "You just made these up," and she said, "Oh no." Everybody says it. Yeah. <laughs> she's funny. Andrea is uh, Andrea is the lovely lady that stores the um, the, the knobs off the furniture. <laughs> that we, yeah. Yeah. She's fat. She has a different quirky story every week that I do her. She makes me laugh. She's funny. So this is going on nice and smooth. Right. Both, says Fiona. <laughs> yeah. Well, they're not. They're not. Why I? Yes, thank you. I was right, wasn't I? Why I? <laughs> oh, you were. I should know. I come from Liverpool. Did you know that? No. I was born in Liverpool. Well, just outside. But I left very early on, so I don't have the accent. You certainly do not have no. the accent, girl. Can you give us your best scales? No. Oh. <laughs> I don't see well, myself as having an accent, but I have had people message me you on awesome. YouTube saying, I love your British, it's because we're British. And yeah, I, I don't think we don't regional American, accents, we don't understand no, don't British. sort of, you, you either sound British or you don't sound British. I suppose. Yeah. Oh. Does that mean that we sound snooty? No, darling, you don't. No, I don't sound snooty. <laughs> you sound Dorset. <laughs> you, you sound Dorset, my dear. You me up a bit there. <laughs> Knock me down, build me up first. <laughs> Posh totty. Oh, yeah. Oh my goodness, I'm hot. It's hot in here. I'm really liking this. This is working. It's so pretty. It really is. That's what it's. Yes. That's what's oh, it's up. So you can look at a bit more now, a bit further down. But the top still needs some work. Um, but the general dry brushing is really working. It's looking good. So I, like, I like the effect. Throughout the week, I'm going to carry on, I shall carry on with this after we've gone, so that you can see the finished pictures in the... Um, well, I because I always reproduce this video, We I know we watch it in the evening, but I also turn this video into a YouTube video. Um, so you can find it on YouTube too. And if you we ever have want to look back at it. Um, and then we put close-up pictures, pictures yeah. of the finished products at the end of the YouTube video. So you can always see how these things have probably turned out on there. But it gives you a chance as well to sort of catch up on the pieces, I think, when, when it's on the YouTube channel. You see it closer up, which you can't see here. It looks a bit of a... You get to hear my funky music on YouTube. Now I like that. I like the way that that ends. That song. It's, it's by a group. I found it by chance called Manuka. All oh, right. I I love it. Yeah, it's funky. I used to. Um, lots of people have also asked me, just in case you go back on my YouTube. There's um, a lady called that does um, ukulele. That I used to have on in the background quite a lot. And that again, believe it or not, is Andrea. No! Yeah. My 
lovely quirky Andrea. Really? It's in a ukulele She's group called the Daisy Ukuleles. Ukuladies. Daisy Ukuladies. And she features, you can find her on YouTube too. Um, with the, and she's, they do, abs as you can imagine, absolutely bonkers videos with her playing in the bath. No! With, with the clothes on, but she often, because Andrew is quite shy and she doesn't like to be seen on the camera, she puts all her hair over her face and then puts glasses on. Over oh, the top. No, I'm going to have to yeah, search that. Yeah, yeah, it's hilarious, but they're really good, very good, and they play live. So the Daisy Ukuladies. Daisy Ukuladies. That's a brilliant name. Yeah. Yeah, really good. So I, I Who are you? Yeah, she's a dark horse, that one. She is. But she's very good. They do a good show. They're quite funny. Got a very musical family. She had both her daughters. Really? Oh, yeah. I know her, well, no, her brother's into photography, isn't he? Her youngest um. daughter is in, no, her, her youngest daughter's just come back from travelling, but she plays and sings in festivals. And, and, and her eldest is in the army and plays the flute. Well, I'm impressed. So. Okay, so yeah, this is going to need two coats. Yeah, and I'm kind of, we're kind of there, really, really. really, really. In there. Any more questions before we... I will just check, actually. Um, because I'm, I'm getting to the point now where you've what? seen what I'm going to be doing. Just. Yeah? And I'm going to be finishing this off. Um, there'll be waxes going on. These mouldings will have um, the wax, the, the verdigris, and the antique oh, the gold. And wax. Yeah, the rough, rough, rub and buff. Rub and buff. Have you got one? Yeah. You're yeah, good. These are fab. Oh, look at that. So yeah, I'm going to be putting some of these on. So you've got the um, again Amazon, the verdigris patina, rub and buff, and you've got the um, antique gold rub and buff. They're going to be going on the mouldings. Uh, um, great. I shall finish stamping in each of these quadrants, um, and it'll get another light sand back. There'll be wax. I've already said there'll be waxing on. Um, so that's what that's what I'm going to be producing, and I'm going to be doing the uh, close-ups for you. Lou, let's see. You if really this have is... chucked everything at this project, haven't you? I have. Things, stamping. Yeah. Extra. Oh, yes. Vinegar. Vinegar. <laughs> yeah. I shall never live that, live that, down. Live that down. No, no, I won't. I'm. I'm going to take a close-up of this before I do any extra work, yeah. and I, I I might put it in the comments or something later if I can. It's it's too gold. It's too yellow. So I'm going to sand that back and I'm actually, I know I said about um, putting paint on sometimes makes it slide and slippery and it's better with the with the, with the um, stays on stamp. Yeah, I agree, it's too it's yellow. Too, it's too yellow. Wait, you could do it with the blue. I thought about that. I have got a nice blue. But I want I want to keep it in the antique gold. You could use one of my oh one of my little stamps. Little stamps. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm still I'm still thinking because I'm liking this, and I'm, I'm, I'd be happy if I had this. Yeah, that bigger colour. Yeah, you know. definitely. Go on, just try one. We've got, we've got five minutes. Oh, okay. Do it. Do it. Okay. Do it. Um. Yeah, but the thing is, I need. I've oh, got a roll, haven't I? Yeah. Let's just try a little one. See if I'm happy with the colour first of all. And mine's a bit boring in terms of technique because I'm just going over and over doing the same thing. But it's really, not but boring in terms of look though, is it? It's pretty. I mean, the colours in it the are gorgeous. It's just popping through. Okay. So I'm going to just use a brayer this time to go on my stamp. Okay. So I'm going to put a little bit on the tile. So you can see it really is quite a dark um, gold. It's kind of the colour I wanted, but I wanted the ease of the stays on um, ink. Um, but I'm not happy with it. And, and you know, that's fine. You're not happy? Yeah, you have to just rethink. Rethink, change it. So I'll sand those back. And then but say, let's just yeah, see. this was my plan when you were alone. I do not deceive. I do. <laughs> <laughs> that's why everyone thinks you're so good. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a million mistakes to get that. It's my plan all along. 
But you know, remember what they say at school? You learn by your mistakes. Yes. And I tell you what, it, it's, now, it's my never art true enough. Now my teacher would not allow me, and I like this about him, and I've never forgotten it, and I, I still do it. He would not allow me to have a rubber in the classroom. So when we were learning to draw, he said you have to really consciously think about every line you're putting on that paper because you can't rub it off. Brilliant. And if you have to go over it or change it, then it will be part of the drawing. Yeah, and, it will show and, and you can sort of go over, can't cool, you? There's it? nothing wrong with going no, over it's something. it's quite cool. Um, I, I have a... Well, I'm going to go off on a tangent now. I have a dislike of using rubber erasers in schools, full stop. I, I, I was brought up, if you make a mistake, put a line through it. Yeah. And try again. You know, it's good to see your mistakes and see how you worked to resolve it. I was part of the Tipex crew, so they realised everyone's getting high on it. <laughs> you were allowed to bring Tipex into school to make your work neat, but then everyone was caught sniffing it. And, uh, <laughs> not me, obviously. Not my school. <laughs> it's just my kind of school. Come on, then, let's see. We're nearly out of time. <laughs> In that mood today. Oh, today. Yeah, that's going to work much, much better. Much better colour. Much better. Yeah, we'll show you some close ups. We'll, yeah. If you take some photos, we'll post them in the chat tonight. Yeah. yeah. Before um, before I do any other work on that, I want you to see the difference between yeah. that, the quite gaudy yellow um, and that beautiful gold. And I am loving that now. I just loving need it. to take back more of the gold. R really? The yeah. A bit more. It's a bit brassy. A bit like you. A bit, yeah, um, y yes. I could have perhaps used the titanium rather than the gold, but yeah, not too early. But I have to say, it's looking grand. Yeah. You know, grand, yeah. like not grand as in AI. Oh, oh, that's good. Uh, ain't it grand? It's looking <laughs> grand, like Marie Antoinette. Yes, that was the plan. You see, it stuck to your plan and it worked. <laughs> right, so. we are just about almost out of time. Just long enough to remind you to. Share. Say that you've shared. Oh, and I'm, can I just mention something? Um, I I know personally of people that haven't shared because they're not painters and crafters and they really didn't want to win the prize. So they didn't share because they didn't want to go into the draw. It's fine. Just share, but don't write shared. Oh yeah, you can do that. Share because you love us and you want to promote us. But you don't have to write shared and go into the... Or you can write shared, I don't want the prize. Yeah, <laughs> let, let us know. But don't let that put you off sharing, And helping please. us promote what we're trying to do. Yeah. Which and is... look, this is the best week ever for prizes. <laughs> Come on, this is fairy chic, fairy flipping chic. I've got a feeling it's going to be a lot more fairy chic in the office. Do you think? I think there might be. Do you think? Yeah. I think there might too. Cheers, love. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. See you later, guys. See ya. Bye. Georgia on